Alright guys, so Creatures of Scenario just updated and they have added in the LSS event part 3. So let's go ahead and check out what they have added in. So let's go ahead and check out the new Angelic Warden, which is probably the biggest thing in this update. So if we go and land Sea Sky event, here it is the Angelic Warden. And let's take a look at the missions. So the first mission says grow any Warden to age 100. And for this mission, I highly recommend the Gara Warden since the Gara Warden is the Halloween Special Warden and it only takes 30 minutes to grow, meaning it is the fastest growing warden. And also, if you have any Eryx plushies, be sure to put it onto the Gara Warden so you grow even faster. And um, yeah, you just got to do that 10 times. And now onto the next mission, it says kill any adult warden. Okay, so for this mission, it's honestly quite easy. Basically, what you got to do is you just got to go around and kill 10 adult wardens. Or what you could do is if you have a friend, you and your friend could grow a Gara Warden to Elder to also complete the first first mission and then once you guys are done you guys trade and kill each other and yeah you just got to do that 10 times over and over again grow a gara warden get it killed by your friend and then you guys swap and yeah you just repeat that over and over again 10 times and you'll get both of the missions done the first one and the second now for the third mission apply a total of 1500 poison or bleed combined okay so for this mission you could use the gara warden since the gara warden does has the virus breaths which cause bleeding and it also has six bleed per bite but the one that i highly recommend you guys use is the magna rothis which is a really good creature because it does 20 bleed per bite and yeah guys the magna rothis is definitely the way to go okay so on to the final mission which is as any different stat boosted creatures deal 5,000 damage okay so basically for the final mission what you got to do is you got to find these stat boosted creatures which are these creatures right here the creatures with the plus signs next to them and as you can see today it is the archinax the bengon the nidal talus i believe nidal talus nidal talus and the so tree and yeah four of these creatures right here are all stat boosted because they have the plus sign next to it and basically for each one of these creatures you have to deal 5,000 damage with each one and um yeah you just got to do that five times and um uh today there is only four so you have to wait till tomorrow to do another one so it's technically going to take you a few days to do this mission but honestly it's really easy you just got to do 5,000 damage as each one of these and hopefully it's not something that does barely any damage and for the final thing that you have to actually do to actually unlock the angelic warden is you have to own 75 percent of the creatures in the game and i'm pretty sure you have to own 75 percent before you can actually do any of these missions so um yeah that is probably the hardest part since you have to own like 180 of the 240 creatures in the game and um yeah 75 percent is quite a lot for the angelic warden and that again that's just the hardest part because you have to go look for every single creature that you don't own and just slowly go up from there and yeah there's a lot of creatures in this game so good luck to you all okay so before we actually spawn in and check out the new angelic warden there's also another new creature which is called the geo something and it is a turtle creature and it's pretty cool so if you go to buy creatures and go all the way to the traveler's gotcha as you can see right here the geo ptx no i don't know how to pronounce it but um yeah it is right here inside of the traveler's gotcha so the traveler's gotcha basically you got to complete all these missions and then you open it with 250 mushrooms and it looks like they actually dropped the price it was 500 before i believe or a thousand i'm not too sure but i'm pretty sure it was 500 so um yeah they made it a little bit cheaper and yeah basically all you got to do complete the missions get the creature or hope that you get the creature and um yeah that is how you get the new turtle creature and now let's spawn in and check out the new creature all right guys so here is the angelic warden and look at it it looks very very mysterious and it does walk on two legs and uh very thin ones indeed and uh, as you can see it is a very very cool looking creature and it can fly as you can see look at this guys we just got like a huge boost into the sky what the heck that's actually never happened to me before wait a minute wait what the let me try that again oh gosh that is really really high okay that is pretty cool so the first things first let's check out these stats so it has 8000 hp it does 90 damage and it's a tier 4 and uh again it is a warden so that's why it only has 90 damage because the warden whenever it gets attacked its damage goes up so the lower hp it has the more damage it does and that is called the warden's rage which is its passive ability and it does have the ability uh the area sleep ability so if you press on q as you can see you can put people to sleep and wait did you guys see that running animation wait let's check it out oh well, look at that it like it like gallops it like gallops 
that's pretty cool okay so um if you were curious where the creature's face is and where its mouth is well let me show you so if you press on the attack animation it uh yeah that's its mouth right there as you can see look at that yeah and that is the attack animation it like throws the ball at you and uh if you do the sprinting it looks like it's gonna do like a kamehameha or something like not even gonna lie like look at it it's just getting ready to charge it up but um yeah it is a really cool creature and now let's check out the animations okay so here's the z animation right here oh look at that that is that is really really nice really cool it like throws the ball in the air it, yeah definitely stay away from this you do not want to go close to this and i don't know where its eyes are it, are these its eyes like those little like eyes on its like it just has eyes everywhere maybe those are its eyes and um okay so now let's do the x animation there we go and then the n animation and then the sitting animation and then the sleeping animation and there we go guys those are all the animations for this creature and again it does have the area sleep ability and it can fly and um yeah honestly tell me down in the comments what are your thoughts on this creature is it worth the grind and this creature is tradable if you guys don't know so uh yeah you can probably try trading for it because right now it is pretty hard to get if you guys don't have 75 percent of the creatures owned and um yeah now let's go on to the turtle looking creature all right guys so we have spawned in as the new turtle creature and here it is guys it is honestly really really cool and uh the funny thing i found about this creature is the attack animation so if we attack this is what it does yeah it's pretty much like saying what's up to you when it's uh, attacking you look at that it's like what's up what's up <laughs> i find that pretty funny for the attack animation but uh i have no idea how else it would attack maybe with its tail i mean it has like a pretty pretty uh pretty big tail that i could smack people with let's go ahead and check out these stats so it has 5500 hp 300 damage it's a tier 5 and for a tier 5 i honestly thought this would have like more hp since you know i mean it is a turtle it should be pretty tanky so i don't know why it only has 5500 hp but i mean that's not bad at all okay guys so maybe it's not a turtle it is a tortoise because we cannot swim and we're drowning okay let's get out of the water oh gosh we're drowning we're gonna die and it's foggy okay we got out all right there we go okay maybe maybe it's not a turtle it is a tortoise actually but um yeah i mean it does resemble a tortoise it has a pretty big shell i am a slow slow tortoise as you can see um we are currently in the saharan desert and uh guys okay so the uh the, this tortoise creature has a very unique ability all right guys so if you press on q watch this this is actually pretty sick there we go watch it has dazzling flash ability right watch this if we press on q look at that it shells like lights up like the gems on its shells it lights up and dazzling flash basically what dazzling flash does is any creatures near it will uh, experience confusion and tunnel vision so yeah it's honestly a really good ability for like you know uh you know just escaping i guess all right guys so let's check out its animations okay so here's the z animation right here oh look at that a very very basic and nice animation and then see the x animation and then the n animation and then the sitting animation and then the sleeping animation honestly what would be really cool if it like it tucked its head inside its shell and uh yeah it just like goes inside of its shell like all of its body parts just like retract into its shell as it gets sleepy animation i think that'd be pretty cool but um yeah guys that is pretty much it for the animation but um yeah guys that is pretty much it for this creature and this video i hope you guys did enjoy and tell me down in the comments what are your thoughts on the angelic warden and this amazing tortoise and um, yeah guys i'll see you all in the next video peace out